All right, folks, so I'm going to show you just some kind of basic best practices for using Teams. Uh, and this video is going to be specific to the help desk because we're going to use it in a bunch of different ways. So I'm going to actually get out of the web app and go to the app on the desktop. Um, and again, to download that, if you're in the web, you can just go over here to get app and then install that and log in. Um, so I'm going to minimize that and go down to the app here. And you'll see, I'll see my list of teams. Um, and the first big thing is just kind of recognizing the different spaces of, you know, what a team is all about. So if you click on your team, you'll notice that it expands and shows the different channels that you have as part of your team. In a way, these are just used to organize different conversations. Um, and so if you go to the general channel, this is kind of the most basic channel. Um, and it will basically show anytime a person is added to the team. Um, and if you have any general questions, you can post them here uh, and someone will reply to you. Um, so when posting a new message, you can just come down here to the very bottom and you can start typing what question you want to ask. And if you want to ask it to a specific person so they get a notification, you just need to do an at symbol and then start typing in their name. So I'm going to demo with Joe. I could be like, Joe, what is what are the names of your first period help desk students? And then when I hit enter, that is going to notify Joe that I just mentioned him in Teams, and he's going to respond. Now, if you're going to respond to somebody, it's really important that you don't click here, down here to start a new conversation you really want to click on the reply feature. Otherwise, it's going to be hard to tell if whether or not you're replying to their specific question. So if I want to reply to myself, I just click reply. Just say, I am not Joe. And if you want some more settings, you can click here, uh, and that'll give you some more formatting options. So I could bold some stuff, put in italics, that kind of thing. Um, and then I can also increase the size of the text here. Um, and then I could even hyperlink um, text. So if I wanted to attach something. Um, along with attaching things, Teams supports attaching different documents. So you can go down here to attach and you can search your OneDrive or upload from your computer. So if you want to share a video or share something you're working on, you can uh, link it here and people will have access. Um, and then you can also do GIFs um, that you can search for here, which are great. You also have emojis, um, different stickers. And then this Meet Now feature is something where you can use the webcam to kind of start a meeting um, with the person um, regarding this conversation. Um, and then there's some additional settings that you don't really need to worry about. If you want to pose a question to everybody and for them to get a notification, um, all you have to do is click at. And you can, even, you can either say the channel name, like general, um, to notify the channel, or you can just do at and name the class, so help desk, and that'll notify the entire team. Another important thing to think about is before you ask a question, um, you, it might be worth going up here and clicking into the search button uh, to see if that question's been brought up before and use some keywords. Uh, that way we don't have duplicate conversations happening. Um, and then you also want to make sure that you're not just constantly starting new conversations. Um, and if you accidentally screw up, you can always delete your posts. So for example, this post that was from last year, I can click these little ellipses here and I can edit my post, I can delete it, um, and I can even have it read to me if I wanted to. Um, so for example, I'm gonna delete that post and that's gonna delete the post, but the replies will still be there. Um, and if you ever want to see like multiple replies, you can just you'll see it right here and you can click on multiple replies and see what everybody said. With channels, the purpose is really to be able to categorize our conversations. So you want to think about if I'm going to pose a question, is it something that's kind of general? Um, is it have to do with my the group projects that we're looking at and working on? Is it a hardware issue? Is it something that's happening um, that we're not sure what to do with? Uh, I'm going to add a channel for software issues as well. Um, and that's a great thing for if you're at the help desk and your ed tech coach isn't nearby and you're having trouble fixing something, you can pose that question and then other help desk students from any of our three help desks, three high schools that we're running help desks at um, could potentially answer that question for you. Um, so there's hardware issues 
And then questions for teachers and all three of the coaches will be the ones responding on that. And then the very last thing I kind of want to briefly go over and something we're going to be playing around with a lot this year as we kind of get some experience with teams um, is this whole assignments feature over here. So um, there might be some different assignments that are assigned through the help desk. Um, and this is what it will kind of look like. So you can kind of see all your different assignments in a view. Um, and then um, you can also get a week view. So right now we don't have any assignments, but if you had some assignments there from the help desk you would see these little um, posts here and you'll they'll look like this um, and this is kind of a teacher view showing me how many people of the 24 turned them in um, but you'll be able to actually click on the assignment um, link the assignment um, and then just hit submit and turn it in and then one of the ed tech coaches can actually look at it and give you feedback 